So hi, Sierra. Hi. <laughs> so this is me and my daughter. We're just chilling out. I gotta leave in a little bit though to go all the way back home. So I was talking to you last night about identification truths, about resting in Christ and so you didn't quite get it, right? You didn't quite understand all the hullabaloo, right? What all the hullabaloo was about. Not really. <laughs> yeah. So so do you feel like you need more clarity with what in what regarding what it means to rest in Christ? Uh sure, and our audience probably does. <laughs> I guess grandmother's gonna get that. It's really loud. That's they, well, you know they're deaf. <laughs> you know they're deaf. They have to have it really loud. <laughs> they're old. Um, I guess she got it. So resting in Christ mm -hmm. means that you're not trying to grow in Christ in your own strength because you know that you can't. Because your flesh is crucified and it's done away with, like positionally speaking. Mm -hmm. So the more we reckon on our position in Christ, our position positively impacts our condition. Position, condition, tomato, tomato. Actually, no, they're, they're not interchangeable. It is all about position. So, yeah. Um, so do, so we don't grow by law keeping, do we? We can't. So the, what was the purpose of the law? The purpose of the law. <clears throat> to keep us in line and prevent chaos. Well, I mean the, the mosaic law, not like laws, uh, like traffic laws or, or the league. <laughs> okay. I'm talking about the mosaic law. The purpose of the mosaic law is to what, guide us in our life and tell us what to do and what not to do. Well, okay. <clears throat> but... What does that tell you? That tells you that you can't do it. If I have to tell you, you know how these disclaimers, do not eat Tide Pods, right? Why would they say that? Because people eat Tide Pods. People are stupid, right? They eat Tide Pods. So, but anyway, so the law shows us what we are. Like, the law is a magnifying glass to magnify the diagnosis of sin. So for the, um, the law has one purpose only for one category of person. It's the unbeliever. The law is the car that drives the unbeliever on the road and the car stops at the cross. So the law leads you to the cross. Mm -hmm. The law is, a, is to produce a crisis like, oh my gosh, there's a standard. I can't even, you know, Jesus already said, if we think it, we're already, we've already been done guilty. So, you know, um, so when Jesus, Jesus was born under the law so that he could nail it to the cross. Okay. So we who have believed the gospel, we're dead to the law. All right. We have, um, we have Christ. And so, um, we're dead to the law. We're dead to the world. The law, the, the power, the strength of sin is the law. So the more you try to do law keeping to keep from sinning, the more you're going to sin because the strength of sin is the law. So when you're law focused, sin just gets stronger and stronger. So you can either be sin conscious or Christ conscious. So if you're Christ conscious, you, you realize that you are ruined, which is why you had to be crucified, right? Your flesh and all your efforts, even the good parts of yourself, it had to go on the cross. It had to die. Okay. So, um, so you reckon on that. And as you reckon on that, it gets you out of the way so that Christ can just work through you because whenever you try to take the wheel away from Christ, he's going to let you do it. He's going to let you do it, but then he, he can't, he's not going to help you, you know? So give the wheel back to Christ and he, as you rest in him, then he just leads you and guides you and you become more, you're not thinking about sin or whatever. Like you have a cup of water, right? Like I told you last night, say the water's Jesus. He fill the cup to the brim with water. There's no room for anything else is there. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> so, um, 
So anyway, but I have been praying for this girl that the Lord would open the eyes of her understanding to enable her to understand what resting in Christ really is and what it really isn't. And the only way to grow is not through law keeping because you can't go back to the works of the law to the uh, to the works of the law for the perfecting of your already crucified dead flesh. It's counter, you know, it's, it's counter to it doesn't do anything, right? You know, because your flesh is already canceled out. The burden to grow is not on us because the Lord canceled us out on the cross. So the burden to grow in your walk with God is not on you. This is new to you, isn't it? You've never heard Trace, like I said, like I told her, I told her last night, I've been on a two year journey. All right, we had to take a break there because she had to take a phone call. But she's got to go do something real important. So um, tell everybody bye. Bye. All right. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'll talk to y'all later.